Kelly Walters here, and today we're gonna have a quick little computer session. And what I mean by that is there's no decorating, but we are going to talk about art and places that you can find online that can help you with your art. If you're not a graphic artist or one that is familiar with creating your own art in certain programs, then you definitely want to tune in to this video because we are gonna talk about five different places that you can create, download, and use vector art with minimal effort. Of course, the more creative you wanna get, that's up to you, but I'm gonna give you the tools to do so. All right, so the first place we are going to talk about is actually on stalls.com. Now, we have created a vinyl designer. If you haven't heard us talk about it, well, then now is the time, and it is completely free to use. Now, I'm also going to preface that the majority of the places I am going to show you are free. Of course, paid options are always a plus, but at least I can give you some free options as well to get started and do what you need to do. So we're going to head to stalls.com and then I will guide you from there on where to go and find the vinyl designer. All right, so now that we are at stalls.com, the first thing you're going to want to do is to make sure that you are logged in. If you are not logged in, sign up for an account. It is free, guys. So all you need to do is go in, sign up, and then you have access to this vinyl designer. Now, if you already have an account, excellent. Go ahead and log in, and I will show you where to go from here. So you can see I'm logged in. We've gone past that part right here. It's super, super easy. It says vinyl designer. Just click that and it's going to take you to what looks like a product page, but it's actually the entry point to the vinyl designer. And of course, you can make this larger to where you have, um, you know, full screen access. So from here, you can see it says Stalls Vinyl Designer. Like I said, it looks like a product page, but uh, it's not. So we're gonna scroll down and it's going to say, get started. Little windows will pop up in just a second, but also click this full window and it's going to completely take over your browser and look like it is in um, a specific program. So from here, we've got my files, quick styles, circle text, shapes, backgrounds, templates, et cetera, et cetera, clip art. Let's just go to templates because this is going to be the easiest to get started and then we can adjust from there. Once you click that, you have the ability to do a drop down menu. Let's go seasonal. And these are constantly getting updated throughout the year and of course the time. I know we're in middle of winter, so I'm kind of feeling these summer vibe, summer vibes. But if you are looking towards snow, then this is where it is perfect. So let's just click on let it snow. And from here, as you can see, if you click each individual element, it's going to pop up the color of the design. Same thing for snowflakes. You can drag and highlight them all. You can increase the size. Now there are some where you can adjust the font and the text, but in this particular case, this is not adjustable, but what you can adjust is the color. So if you're looking for a specific color, then you can place it right here. If you know you have a customer that is using a particular purple or whatever your material color is, same thing if you have the ability to print, then you can go ahead and get customized colors in that direction. So full color capabilities right here. And then you can turn around and keep adjusting the other colors as well. So as you can see, this is fairly easy to edit. And of course, this one, again, is just more of a template versus um, really being able to customize. But the beauty of it is you can go up to file, 
You can start over, you can export this file, you can save as, and of course you can open new. So if you go to export right here, it's gonna ask you what type of file you would like. So the PNG, a JPEG, DXF, PDF, so on and so on. And then you can export it directly to your desktop. Now this is one option. And of course you can add your own clip art and replace whatever you need to depending on who you are making it for. Now I just hit control D to make it duplicated or to duplicate. And then I'm just going in and placing and adjusting however we would like. So just to give you a little tip and trick on that, feel free to come in and play. You can spend hours and hours doing what you need to do in order to create something in here. You can import and of course, um, export, create proofs, do a lot of things. While we're not really diving into all the functionality of the, the vinyl designer, just know there's other videos on this particular program. All right, so for program or option at number two, we are going to head to cadworkslive.com. Now this is another stalls program, but it is separate from stalls.com. So you will need to create your own login specifically for this account, but they both have their own perks as to why you would want to use the vinyl designer over CADWorks Live or vice versa. So let's go ahead to CADWorks. So this is CADWorks Live. And like I said, it is still affiliated with Stalls. We This is one of Stalls programs, but it is just different than the vinyl designer. They have a lot of the same characteristics. You can create, import, export. Um, you can still you know, use, utilize the templates that are in there, clip art, et cetera. But there are a couple of different things that you can use with CADWorks that you can't with the vinyl designer. So we're going to exit out of this. Now, here is where you're going to want to hit login. And as you can see, I am currently logged in. So there's artwork. You can go ahead and view your files, favorites, artwork, education. This is excellent because you can basically be taught on how to use this program. And then right here in the design, we've got both Launch Easy Teams, which helps you with easy creation of names and numbers, and then Design Studio 2.2, and then of course the design tools. So I'm going to click on Studio 2.2, and this is actually going to pop up a different window for us. So this is the window that it pops open and it takes you to um, basically a completely different tab. I can still access the other tab we were on, but this is where you're going to want to do all of your creating. Now, you, like I said, you can access your files, you can import, go straight to text, so on and so on. What we're going to do is go ahead and head to templates. There are some templates in here that are also in the vinyl designer. But where it gets really interesting is you can change a lot of the, of the text for the templates that are already created. Again, you can go in here and select your wording and your colors. You can choose your own font just like you could in the other program as well. Where I like to use CADWorks is if I'm wanting to have a specific type of font. So what you're going to want to do is click add text right here at font. We're going to click that T and right at the bottom right hand side, we're going to hit upload font. By doing that, if you are downloading a font that maybe you got from Defont or another place paid to use that font commercially, you're going to want to come in here and upload it. And then you're going to have access to creating with the specific fonts that you want versus what a program program offers. So I just selected this yellow butterfly. And as I type in a word or a phrase, you're gonna be able to see what it looks like. Now, the next thing about this is you can still go back and choose templates, import an image, which I'll show you how this makes sense in just a little bit. 
And then, of course, you can add your own clip art for whatever you would need. You can go in here and still do contour cuts, outlines, um, just like you would with the vinyl designer. You can play with the shaping on welding and combining, breaking apart by regions and colors. Again, you can do all of this on the vinyl designer as well. I'm just showing you how this is just a little bit different than the vinyl designer. All right, so the next website that I want to talk about is um, called Love SVG. That's www.lovesvg.com. And it's another um, a website that you do have to register for and log in, but they offer both a paid and a free version of files. They send emails with um, like files of the week. And of course, you can also go in and purchase large packs of design files if you're kind of, you know, looking for a specific style and wanting to have a variety for, say, like a holiday. Now, um, the thing to keep in mind about Love SVG is that it is really creative um, oriented. It's great for Etsy. It's great for themes and holidays. Just keep in mind that a lot of these designs, probably most, wouldn't be used for a business, but my goodness, they are fun. They are already designed, ready to be cut, um, and they weed pretty easily. And of course, you can always enhance the design um, that you have downloaded. I'll show you that in just a second. And um, so let's get started and go right there. Okay, so I already have a category pulled up. Now, um, on lovesvg.com, it will prompt you to go ahead and, and register. And of course, you can exit out of all of that. And right here, it will give you a login or register option for you to you know go ahead and log in. Um, and of course, if you're brand new to Love SVG, go ahead and take that opportunity to register. That way you can go ahead and access everything that you need. Right at the top, you can see she's got, or she, they, I don't know if it's a she or not, but they have free SVG cut files and there are thousands of categories, um, or excuse me, thousands of dot designs, um, but several categories to choose from. This is Adventures and Outdoors. And as you can see, this is more farm and crop related, but we get into the camping, get lost, camper's going to camp. All of this is super fun and trendy right now. A lot of these are going to be one, maybe two colors. I think few I have seen have been three colors, but you can easily customize this to be whatever you want. As you can see, this one goes past 13 pages. So like I said, thousands of options. There's also sublimation files. And um, like I said, the subscriptions and the bundles and fonts that I had talked about just a second ago. So if we go into holidays and celebrations, you can choose which holiday you want to get prepared for. If you're prepping for several months in advance, which is always great, you don't have to wait for a holiday to be released on Love SVG. It's always going to um, be ready for you to access. They just bump and update depending on what is coming up next. So as you can see, Mardi Gras, Valentine's Day. Let's click out of these ads. And then just a few for St. Patty's Day. This will grow we, again, you can search by what you need. Now, in order to download one, you just click on the art. And then you can hit download now. And immediately it's going to pull that um, SVG vector file into your download section and continue downloading. They do come in as a zip file. So you'll just need to make sure that you um, correctly import your artwork to whatever platform you're using to cut or finish designing. This one, as you can see, is two colors, but you could easily go in and add um, contours. You could turn one into just an outline. 
you could really keep this as simple or jazz it up as best as you are able to. Um, the sublimation files are very similar in the same way. And then, like I said, it's just all based on by category. Now, in your account, you can also access your downloads, account details, and, um, you know, if you have any coupons as well, or if you were to purchase something, you could see it in there. Love SVG is a really easy tool to ta uh, taste, test whether or not a holiday works for you. Maybe you want to play around with some art, but you aren't as uh, art savvy <laughs> or creative, then you could take certain elements, you know, use your own um, text or font and just really kind of change it and customize it as you would like. All I know is I have done um, a lot of education on the lives using SVG and anytime I've gone to cut the file and actually put the art together live, it's always been very, very easy and stress-free. So I do recommend it from a quick ready-to-go standpoint. The more you get comfortable with art, just keep utilizing those other platforms that are free to create. Now, previously, you did have to select what type of file that you wanted. As you'll see, it's S, you know, an SVG, DXF, um, EPS, and a PNG. So when I look at the file that we just downloaded, I do see that all four of those files are actually in your zip folder. So what's great about that is if you go from program to program, or maybe you have an industrial cutter and you have a craft cutter and you use two different uh, programs for cutting, then at least you have those files right there and you don't have to worry about any type of editing unless you were to, you know, jazz up your own file. All right, so that is option number three when it comes to um, getting vector ready art. They have those cut lines, SVG ready to go with either your craft cutter or an industrial cutter. So the next uh, platform we're going to talk about is a website called Canva. And this one I have been playing with more and more when it comes to art. And I have noticed a couple of hiccups, but that's okay. Because I have applications like CadWorks Live and the Vinyl Designer, I am able to take some art from Canva and import it into those systems and make it work. Now, there are some files that I have to do just a little bit of doctoring, but I'm really, really happy with the elements that I've been able to download and, of course, import into the other um, programs that I need to continue exec executing my design. Now, what I will preface is that Canva offers a paid program as well as a free program. So I am going to show you the paid there might be some things that we look at that will show that it is um, going to cost, but just know you can use Canva for free. And um, if there are certain elements that you're wanting to utilize, use, download, etc., then they do offer the ability for you to purchase those for prior to downloading versus just um, paying per month for their pro or yearly for their pro. So let's go ahead to uh, canva.com. So as you can see, I am logged in right here. We've got the KW popping up. And if you are not too familiar with Canva, it's just an excellent resource. Now, keep in mind, this, this doesn't necessarily replace a graphic artist or somebody on um, you know, your design team or your marketing team, but it's an excellent tool to utilize if you have a vision or you're crafty um, and you just can't fully execute it because you're not trained on a program. So one thing that I do want to show you is you can actually create a brand kit that will have your brand colors. You can create multiple brand kits. So if there's a particular business that you work with, you can put their Pantone PMS colors in there and utilize them as you are going. So let's just start from the from scratch. We're going to go to just create a design. And because we aren't really, you know, utilizing 
this completely with the size that we need to. We're just gonna do an Instagram post, which is going to give us a square. Now keep in mind, if you're wanting to create, create something of a specific size, then I would put the size that you need. That way you know exactly um, the space that you can work with and you can get the best download um, version as possible. It's easier to shrink from large to smaller scale than it is to increase in size depending on what your artwork is. So they're gonna go ahead and give you a bunch of pop-up designs that you can take a look at, but keep in mind, this is more for marketing purposes versus um, what we're going to be utilizing it for. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and come over here to elements. Now, this is where I have found um, I have had the best success. Now, as we go to use some fonts, there have been a lot of fonts that have not um, exported correctly and then I didn't have my font as I was importing into CADWorks or the Vinyl Designer. Also, you'll notice as I'm hovering over these hearts, we're gonna see a heart here, here, here. These all say free, but this says pro. So in order to use this, you have to either pay for the pro program or you have to um, pay to download that design. So let's just type in unicorn. That's the first thing I can think of that is going to give me a variety of colors. So we're going to use this. This is a perfect example. Our unicorn has an outline. It's got a fill of the white. We're utilizing pink, mint, lemon or soft yellow, lilac, periwinkle, lavender, whatever you want to call it. There's a lot going on in this design, which can be excellent when it comes to using heat transfer vinyl. And of course, these more detailed will definitely be excellent for um, ultra color max, CAD prints, um, and then of course, any other product in the ultra color line, even uh, CAD prints permatool would be kind of cool, just depending on what type of outline you would need to have. Okay, so let's go ahead and delete that. Now, what I want to show you is we're going to select download. And that is going to pop up a couple of different options. Right here with file type, we're going to turn it to an SVG. Next, we want to go ahead and make it a transparent background. And then we are going to download it. You also have the ability to download as a PDF, but I have found that downloading as the SVG is the best option. Okay, so now that you've seen um, there are some elements here that maybe you aren't able to recreate in another platform you can select rainbow and as you can see something like this or even like this with the hearts is going to be another great option in terms of finding a uh, vector art you can come in here import this into one of the design programs that i just showed you and do a um, kind of knockout with fonts. You can do something where you're layering. You just have a lot of opportunity. Now, like I said, not all elements are created equal. Some are free and some may not export the best as an SVG. So what I wanna do now is actually return to CADWorks Live. I'm gonna go straight to import. And we're going to hit the browse category because now what we need to do is pull that design from what we just downloaded. So right here, it's as the untitled design. And we're going to see it immediately come to our creation window. You can see I selected it. It's massive. And I'm just going to, oops. I didn't mean to delete that. I'm going to delete what we don't need while that's continuing to download. 
I can also hit wireframe. And you can see that we have a giant box. Right here it says convert to vector and we don't need to do that because it is already a vector. But the next thing I wanna do is break apart by regions. So as you can see, there is no design. Where that was one of the hiccups that I said you might encounter when it comes to importing a design from Canva. Now these elements right here are all little designs that I have imported from Canva. These are all element elements that I had added to just a square Instagram post like I had showed you. As we went to import, it also did not give us the ability that these were in a vector format, even though we downloaded them as an SVG. So here we're gonna go convert to vector. There is no background. And then we're just gonna select the colors that our design is using. And then once we hit next, it's going to go ahead and vectorize our artwork. If we're happy with the way this looks, we can hit okay. And as you can see, we've got some stars. We do have a little bit of outline, but this rainbow right here, it turned out perfect. Now from here, next we need to do either colors or regions and really kind of just clean up the art that we'll be using. So like I said, some of these worked great. This turned out excellent. The heart, the little diamond sparks, the, the stars, this rainbow. This one's a little blurry, so I would probably stray away from that. Now, it's not perfect, but it does give you the ability to go in and play and see if you can utilize it in ways that I have when it comes to creating some designs. There are some things that are gonna work and some things that aren't. And remember being trained in a software to go in and create your own art, knowing that it is outlined and vectored is the best way to go, but these are just some tips and tricks away around it. Now, that is number four when it comes to platforms or websites that you can utilize to help create art. The next that I want to recommend is checking out your craft cutter if you have one. And if you don't have one, then you can still utilize Silhouettes or Cricut's um, artwork website to download files that you need and go in and make it your own. If you're not using a craft cutter, then that's okay. You can still import and export into other programs but it gives you the ability to not have to stress or think about designing something that may take too long. Silhouette specifically has monthly programs where you might pay five to $10. I know there is some up at the twenties and you will get say tokens to use towards your art. If you don't use those art every month, then those tokens just roll over. So if you're needing to do a complete overhaul on art, you can save and then add as you need. Again, there's sublimation files, there's full color files, and of course there's other files if you are looking to do material outside of heat, for, heat transfer vinyl. Last but not least in that same kind of category is utilizing a, web, a website like Etsy, um, the Hungry JPEG. A lot of those places are have they have SVG files that you can purchase from designers and utilize those elements and make it and turn it into something of your own. I know not everything is going to be perfect, but if you want it to be that way, then hire the graphic artist or become the graphic artist yourself. These are excellent ways to keep costs and fees low as you're working to grow and create in your business, especially if you're needing to create something just like that. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope this was beneficial for those of you that are looking at new ways to bring art into your platform or into your business and you're not quite ready to hire a graphic artist, keep in mind that you can also find graphic artists that are very easy to work with, 
through um, LinkedIn or simply by Googling. I'm Kelly Walters and we'll see you next time. In case you didn't know, Stahl's CAD Cut Heat Transfer Vinyl is available on stalls.com or locally at hundreds of resellers across the United States. Click the link in the description to find one near you.